Playboy Cardi is one of the most polarizing figures in the rap industry today. He is one of the only trap artists who continues to push boundaries, experimenting with new sounds on every new record. His minimalistic music style, with an emphasis on vibe over lyrics, is what people seem to either love or hate about him. His infectious music garnered him a cult following who go to extreme lengths to get more information about Cardi and what he is going to drop next. His influence on the rap genre has definitely been felt, and he will likely continue his influence as he continues to drop more music. If you listen to hip hop and rap, you've likely heard his name and know at least a little bit about him. But how far does your knowledge of Playboy Cardi go? Does it lie just at the tip of the iceberg, or does it reach far beneath the sea? In this video, I will be explaining the full Playboy Cardi iceberg, covering everything there is to know about the boundary-pushing trap icon. Now, let's take a dive in and find out how deep your knowledge of Playboy Cardi really goes. Magnolia is Playboy Cardi's most popular song to date, with over 478 million streams on Spotify, with the music video having nearly 150 million views on YouTube. This song is also Cardi's highest charting solo song, peaking at number 29 on Billboard's Hot 100. This song was produced by Pierre Bourne and hosts minimalistic lyrics about drugs, women, and guns. The minimalistic lyrics are actually what makes the song so catchy and rememberable to people. He also made the Millie Rock one of the most popular dance trends at the time because of the literal first line of the song and hook being In New York, I'm Millie Rock. But basically anyone who knows about Playboy Cardi knows of this song. Playboy Cardi's baby voice is when he leaves his normal vocal range and uses a higher pitched flow and unclear pronunciations. He is the one who popularized this style and now many other artists can be seen using the same style. The baby voice has been met with mixed feelings, with some people thinking that it's annoying, but others love the originality and respect Cardi for trying to push boundaries with this sound. The first time we heard Cardi use an early version of what is now the baby voice was in 2017 on the track Blowin' Minds by ASAP Mob. He must have really liked the way his voice sounded because in his album Die Lit that would drop later the following year, there are many songs that contain this baby voice, such as Long Time, No Time, R.I.P. Fredo, Top, and most notably on Flatbed Freestyle. In my opinion, Flatbed Freestyle is a song that pushed Cardi's baby voice to an even higher extreme. The most extreme versions of Cardi's baby voice appear on songs such as Atme, Pain 1993, Pissy Pamper, Molly, Yayo, Teen X, High As Us, and the highest form of baby voice Cardi on the song Pick It Up. These songs saw Cardi pushing his vocals to a new high. The baby voice style is very polarizing as most people either love it or hate it. Cardi's known for having loads of his music leaked online. People post these leaked songs on just about every platform, even making shared Google Drives with songs as far back as 2011. Cardi's leaks run rampant on TikTok, and a few of them can even be considered some of his most popular songs without even ever being officially released. His most popular leaks will be the next few points on this layer of the iceberg. Pissy Pamper, also known as Kid Cudi, is Playboy Cardi's most popular leak. This song is so popular that an unofficial upload of this song by a high school sophomore reached number one on Spotify's US Viral 50 chart. The song is mainly taken up by the artist Young Nudie, but the extreme baby voice Cardi feature is what made the song blow up, being used in many different memes along the way. They're trying to be crack, yeah, they're trying to be crack, yeah, she wanna be Cardi, that bitch is a baby. Cardi has also performed the song at various concerts, despite it not being officially released. The song was leaked in 2019 and to this day is still unreleased due to sample clearance issues. Cancun is another super viral Playboy Cardi leak. This song was first previewed in a video snippet on Gunner Stahl's Twitter in July of 2018. The song features very simple yet catchy lyrics and a Pierre Born produced beat. Something that really made the song go viral is in the video snippet when Cardi rubs his stomach with British pounds and says, My stomach hurt a few times. This meme would go on to blow up and be used by countless different pages. Cardi has also performed the song multiple times despite it not being officially released. The 
song fully leaked in September of 2019 and is still yet to be released. This is yet another Playboy Cardi leak that has been performed in concert despite it being unreleased. He actually performed the song first in 2018 before it ever fully leaked. It actually got fully leaked in 2019. The song is one of Cardi's most prominent baby voice songs. It ended up becoming extremely popular on TikTok with hundreds of thousands of videos made using it, and also remix of it with altered beats. This song, as of today, has yet to be released. Miss the Rage is a track that was teased in a snippet on Trippy Red's Instagram in December of 2020. The song would soon after receive a fan made edit containing vocals from a Playboy Cardi leak song called One Two. This fan made remix blew up on YouTube and SoundCloud, but it would explode on TikTok to the point where even Trippy Red himself used the fan made song with Cardi featured. The popularity of the fan remix led to Trippy actually asking Cardi for a feature on the song. The song would officially come out May 7th of 2021 and it peaked at a high of number 11 on Billboard's Hot 100, making it Trippy Red's highest charting song and Cardi's second highest charting song, falling short to only Pain 1993 with Drake which charted at number 7. Playboy Cardi has had a massive amount of songs become trends on TikTok. A lot of the trending songs are actually unreleased leaks, but there's also a lot of released songs trending as well. The most popular Cardi songs on TikTok are Punk Monk, Molly, Flatbed Freestyle, and 100 Racks. Other Cardi songs that are popular on TikTok include Sky, Miss the Rage, Skeleton, Can't Relate, Arm and Leg, Go to the Moon, Shooter, Location, Yamin, Pissy Pamper, Foreign, Number 9, Poke It Out, Shoddy in Love, No Lie, Cancun, Tattoo, Long Time, Whole Lot of Red, Goku, At Met, Break the Bank, Get Dripped, and Fell in Love. It seems like Cardi always has music that is trending on TikTok. Playboy Cardi and Iggy Azalea had been dating from September 2018 until October 2020. They first linked up when Cardi was touring overseas, and that same month they were spotted on a date together in West Hollywood. There was one point in December 2019 where Iggy would post on Instagram that she was single, but they eventually got back together until October 2020. Their relationship would then sour in late 2020 for reasons that would be explained later on in the iceberg. They would also never make any music together, but they did make something else. Iggy Azalea would give birth to her and Playboy Cardi's first child in May of 2020. They would go on to name the baby boy Onyx, after the Onyx Stone. This is an homage to Iggy's birth name Amethyst, which like Onyx, is a type of quartz. 1629 is the name given to the rap duo of Playboy Cardi and Lil Uzi Vert. The name came from combining where the two grew up. Cardi came up in the 2900 neighborhood in Atlanta, and Uzi reps North Philadelphia's 1600 neighborhood. Cardi stated that they have been recording together since 2015 and have about 100 unreleased songs together. How many records do y'all have together that we haven't heard that are just sitting on a hard drive somewhere? I got 100. 100? Yeah. Jesus. We, we, we've been recording since like 2015, you know, you know what I'm saying? The first song they released together was Of Course We Ghetto Flowers in 2016, which was a part of Lil Uzi's The Perfect Love Tape. They would then drop two more songs the following year in Playboy Cardi's self-titled mixtape, Lookin' and Woke Up Like This. Later that year, Cardi would announce on Snapchat that he and Uzi would be releasing a joint mixtape titled 1629. Less than a month later, a song of them together called Break the Bank was leaked, and that song was rumored to be the lead song on their mixtape. They even planned a tour a month later, but Uzi would seem to back out, stating that he needs to focus. They would end up never releasing the 1629 album or go on tour together, but many leaked songs of theirs which would likely have been a part of the album can be found on many platforms online. Cardi and Kanye have recently been collaborating a lot, with many pictures of them together posted online and songs releasing. Their first official track together would be in late 2020 on Go To The Moon, which is on Playboy Cardi's Whole Lot Of Red album. Kanye was also the executive producer for Cardi's Whole Lot Of Red album. Cardi would then be featured on Kanye's album Donda and is the only artist not named Kanye to appear on more than one song. 
On September 18th, Cardi would post pictures of himself and Kanye together while wearing the same outfit he teased Narcissist with on his Instagram, leading us to believe that Kanye would be a part of that. Cardi also stated that Kanye introduced him to Kid Cudi, who he would also end up collaborating with. Overall, Kanye has seemed to have a big effect on Cardi and his style choices with his music and clothing. Cardi's affiliation with the ASAP mob is well known from his long-term supporters. After Cardi moved from Atlanta to New York to pursue music, he would end up staying at his drug dealer's house, where multiple members of ASAP would go. Cardi eventually ran into ASAP Bari, who already knew of Cardi's music. Bari eventually introduced Cardi to ASAP Rocky, who ended up mentoring Cardi. Cardi would even stay with Rocky in Texas instead of going back to New York. In 2016, Cardi would end up touring with ASAP Ferg, featuring on ASAP Mob's Cozy Tapes Volume 1, Friends album, and signed to the ASAP Mob's AWGE imprint and Interscope Records. Cardi would also end up designing for V-Loan, which was a streetwear label founded by ASAP Bari. Cardi hasn't collaborated with ASAP Mob recently, but they were a crucial part in helping him get to where he is today. Playboy Cardi is known for being one of the original rap artists to blow up from SoundCloud. Trippy Red has even stated that he feels Cardi and Lil Uzi are some of the greats from his era of SoundCloud rappers. Cardi's first song ever posted to SoundCloud was Young Zan Ho back in 2014. Broke Boy would be the first real breakout song from Cardi during the SoundCloud era. This song established Cardi as the underground artist frontrunner until Magnolia was released, which helped SoundCloud rap reach the mainstream. After Playboy Cardi dropped his self titled album and the song Magnolia blew up, he would then be named to the 2017 XXL freshman list, alongside XXX Tentacion, A Boogie with the Hoodie, Kyle, Made in TYO, PMB Rock, MA, Ugly God, Kamaya, and Cap G. His XXL freshman freestyle would end up being heavily disliked as it wasn't very lyrical and it used the same rhyme scheme and flow as his hit song Magnolia. Mm. Yeah, hide it in my sock, hide it in my sock, ooh, serenary rock. First I pop my car, uh, then I pull the walk. Uh. Cardi's group XXL Cypher freestyle wouldn't be as heavily criticized as what most people talked about and remember from this Cypher is X's demonic verse over no beat. Whole Lot of Trash is referring to the backlash Playboy Cardi received after dropping his album Whole Lot of Red. Various different hate hashtags were top trending when the album was released, such as hashtag Whole Lot of Garbage, hashtag Whole Lot of Skips, and hashtag Whole Lot of Trash. Most of the hate came from a mix of the long over two year wait from the previous album and the sound being completely different from the baby voice they were expecting. The more punk Cardi was disliked by most at first, but as time has passed, many more people have seemed to change their original thoughts on the album and actually say that they enjoy it. Playboy Cardi disrespects Big Boy TV's one of the most popular Cardi memes. It is from a video where Cardi says he doesn't know who MC Scratch is, and then it is revealed to him that Big Boy TV was actually called MC Scratch. And during the video, he gave a look of confusion, which is what became a meme. I know with, with, with ASAP, with, 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 with the mob, mm -hmm. but I want to ask, what's your relationship with MC Scratch? Like, as far as like in the game and everything like that. I don't, I don't know. You don't know. Who is MC Scratch? I was MC Scratch, man, before I became Big Boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, 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 yeah, yeah, and I know, I know, I know Cardi, it was a whack ass name. You know what I'm saying? It was like, a whack ass what? name. Yo, that's yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan Terrell Carter is Playboy Cardi's birth name. Cardi has a large, recognizable birthmark on his left cheek. Playboy Cardi was born on the same day that Tupac died. Some believe that birthmarks are connected to the way you died in your past life, such as a birthmark on your chest being from a bullet wound or a knife. Playboy Cardi has a large birthmark on the left side of his cheek, which is the same spot where Tupac was shot. This made some people believe that Playboy Cardi is actually Tupac's reincarnation. Playboy Cardi has had many people who try to imitate his sound. He even has a signature line about it in one of his most popular songs. Woke up to niggas talking like me, talk. Woke up to niggas sounding like me, talk. Cochise is the most well-known Cardi clone, who uses the same type of baby voice as Cardi. Who he weak, who he weak, now we're S, S, S. That boy, that boy, that boy sus. 
Mario Judah is another clone who in a clout chasing attempt to get Playboy Cardi to drop whole lot of red would drop his own version of whole lot of red where he would mock Playboy Cardi by using his baby voice but say little to no actual words in the songs. Trippy Red isn't a clone, but he also has a song called Hello Kitty, where he uses Cardi's baby voice, and even uses the same rhyme scheme as Cardi in a song that leaked way before this song came out, called New Neon. Trippy also switched up to almost only rage beats on his newest album, and has a couple songs that use a Playboy Cardi-like baby voice, like on Demon Time and Supernatural. Other artists who have used a similar style to Cardi in a song before are Lil Uzi Vert, Lancey Folks, Doja Cat, and Smoke Perp. There are many other lesser known Playboy Cardi clones on SoundCloud and other platforms that clearly show its influence in their music. Playboy Cardi has been with many different women, and many of them are celebrities themselves. Notable people Cardi has been with include Iggy Azalea, Brandi Marion, Black China, Ruby Rose, Jordan Woods, Alexis Skye, Justine Skye, and Lala Baptiste. God, hey! Whole Lotta Red V1 is the name people have given the leaks that occurred after Die Lit but before Whole Lotta Red. These songs basically all used Cardi's baby voice and showed off the sound that people were originally expecting for Whole Lotta Red. Some of the most popular songs from this era include Pissy Pamper, Cancun, Molly, Skeleton, and No Lie. Only two of the leaks from this Whole Lotta Red V1 era would actually make it onto the real Whole Lotta Red album, these songs being New Neon and Place. A lot of Red was rumored to have a deluxe album at some point. Cardi himself even tweeted one day after a whole lot of Red dropped, asking fans what songs they need on the deluxe. This implied that Cardi was planning to put leaks on the album because people could only recommend songs that they've heard before. People flooded the tweet with replies, and the most seen responses were Skeleton, Pissy Pamper, Cancun, Molly, Hellcat, Chopago, Want To, Goku, Boulder Crest, and Red on Red. One day after this tweet, Cardi would tweet again, saying that there was an album on the way. This deluxe album to this day still hasn't been released and is almost certainly not going to release. Playboy Cardi is known for having many ad libs throughout his songs, and he has some that he uses frequently. The most popular ad libs Cardi uses are. Cardi's signature ad-libs are well known enough that Trippy Red would even reference them in a song. What, what, what? Like a Playboy Cardi. Playboy Cardi has referenced being a model in different songs, and he isn't lying. I'm a model. Some of the notable modeling gigs Cardi's been a part of include the OVO Summer 2016 Lookbook, V Files Runway Show in New York Fashion Week, Yeezy Season, M Plus RC Noir Spring Summer 2018 Lookbook. Louis Vuitton menswear spring summer 2019 runway show, faux hunted late to school lookbook, and off white menswear fall winter 2019 2020 runway show. He would also most recently model a Givenchy campaign where he would even record a short snippet endorsing their brand for an ad. Fans even made a remix to this, adding a beat and making it sound like an actual song. Playboy Cardi has asthma, and he described it as the worst case of asthma. I saw on the news that you got bad asthma. You got like a inhaler or whatever? Nice. 
nice. It helps a lot. <laughs> Thanks, man. Good luck with that. Narcissist was a project first teased on Playboy Cardi's Instagram and to this day are the only posts that he has up on Instagram with the caption Narcissist 9-13-21. Fans didn't know exactly what this project was, but the two top guesses were either music or a fashion line. Playboy Cardi would also announce a Narcissist tour, leading more to believe that it was music. But when that day of 9-13-21 did come, nothing was actually released, but merch did end up appearing on PlayboyCardi.com shortly after. The sad thing about this is, after the merch was released onto the website, Cardi would tweet that the website is hacked and the reference folder was posted live. He also said that none of it was approved. There was even found to be a spelling error on the biker long sleeve shirt, meaning the fans who bought the merch were scammed. Cardi and Uzi would soon after be spotted in merchandise that was actually up for sale on that website, causing some to get more suspect of the hacked merch drop. It also leads some fans to believe that if the project is music, Lil Uzi may be featured. What makes people think that it is music is Cardi's tweet on September 15th, where he would tweet a text message to a group of people reading. Forget about the sample clearances, drop Narcissist. Nothing has been released yet, but the tour doesn't start until October 14th, so we should be expecting something before then. Playboy Cardi's most recent performance at Lollapalooza in Chicago was blowing up because of the people in attendance. The Cardi fans there were all lit the entire time as Cardi gave one of his best performances, but the people there who came early waiting for Miley Cyrus, who was next to perform, didn't have as good of a time. These fans weren't anticipating such a lively crowd, and they were met with heavy contact that even injured some, and also people were passing out, and someone even had a seizure. It got so bad that they made Cardi pause his performance because of a lot of people passing out. They're telling me there's a lot of people passing out. They keep stopping my music because people are passing out. I care about you guys' safety first. Overall, it ended up being a top tier performance from Cardi and the Cardi fans in the crowd, but the people waiting for Miley would likely disagree. This is a lyric from Playboy Cardi's song, New Tank, that he first previewed on Instagram Live. After this live, they thought I was gay was trending on Twitter, and it even made the news on CNN when while showing a Donald Trump tweet, they thought I was gay was shown trending in the background. <laughs> Playboy Cardi is trending. <laughs> Playboy Cardi and Lil Uzi are known for being tight with each other, but there was a point in time where they seemed to not be on good terms. In November of 2019, a user on Twitter asked Uzi if he and Cardi are on good terms, which Uzi responded no to. He would soon after reply to another tweet that read, what about you and Cardi? Which he replied, nothing, I just took a different route. When Cardi's single At Met dropped in 2020, Uzi quickly responded with a tweet of the song calling it just meh. Later when someone called Uzi and Cardi's beef fake, Uzi would respond by saying that it wasn't fake and that they already linked and fought each other and are now good. One Day is a Playboy Cardi song that was recorded and previewed in 2017, then leaked in 2019. It was one of Cardi's first songs with Pierre Bourne. In September of 2021, Drake's friend Carnage previewed a version of the song with a Drake verse at a performance in Germany. Full song version with Drake would leak just shortly after. Whole Lotta Red had a very low amount of features, only featuring Kanye West, Kid Cudi, and Future. But before the album's release, Cardi made it seem like there'd be many more features. Aside from Cudi, Kanye, and Future, Cardi would tweet at Post Malone, Pharrell Williams, and Travis Scott, in which the tweet literally said that he loved his verse and Red repeated at the end. Bluezy would also say that he was on track 3 and track 16 of the album on Instagram Live. They tell my ass Uzi if you a whole lot of red. Yeah, I'm on track three. Oh. Uh, track see. three. Track three, brother. And track 16, man. Back on the hook. Track three, track 16. None of these people would end up being featured on the album. This is referring to Playboy Cardi dressing very feminine 
posing for pictures femininely, his voice sounding feminine. Just, just tell me you guys are doing so good. Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. Okay, so I'm taking your car home tonight. <laughs> and even some feminine lyrics. If I'm a bitch, then I'm a baddest bitch. Playboy Cardi's first rap name was Sir Cartier, which he started using in 2011. He changed his name to Playboy Cardi in 2013. Many different producers like to take vocals from already existing Cardi songs or leaks and add their own beat to it. Many of these remixes have become extremely popular. There was a remix of Cancun over a Sega sample beat, which went viral on TikTok. Talk To Me is also a Cardi produced remix that went viral on TikTok. And another popular remix is 7am, which currently has over 7.6 million views on YouTube. There are many other popular Cardi producer remixes as well, and many can be found on YouTube. In an interview in January 2020, Cardi was asked when will we be getting a new album from him. He responded by saying this year. When do we get a new album? Yeah. 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 In many Cardi songs, he talks about his association with Bloods and Pyrus, leading many to ask if he's really a Blood or a Pyru. He has stated in interviews and other songs, however, that he does not bang, so to him, it is really more of an association thing. I'm in Biden with Pyrus and I don't even bang. So Opium is the name of Playboy Cardi's own label, whom he has signed a few artists under. The most popular artist under the Opium label is Ken Carson. Other artists rumored to be a part of this label imprint are Capo DTE, International Jefe, Lil Unky, and Destroy Lonely. The exact details of who was involved in Opium is still becoming uncovered, and not much music has came from the label as of yet. Playboy Cardi has rapped about having label issues on Whole Lotta Red on songs such as Punk Monk and King Vamp. On Punk Monk, when rapping about having a chance to sign young rappers, he spit the line. In the song King Vamp, he repeats the line, I just called my label up, I think they owe me. I just called my label up, I think they owe me. I just called my label up, I think they owe me. These lyrics, along with some of Whole Lotta Red's missing features, lead some to believe that Playboy Cardi is having serious issues with his label. When Playboy Cardi's son, Onyx, was scheduled to be born, Cardi blew it off to play PlayStation games with Lil Uzi. Iggy Azalea is the one who announced this on an Instagram Live, and the way she said it made it become a meme. This man didn't even come to see his son be born. He went to Philly to play the PlayStation with Lil Uzi. On Christmas, when Cardi dropped his long-awaited album, Whole Lotta Red, Iggy Azalea bashed him on Twitter for missing his son's first Christmas for an album release party. Reggie Carter is Playboy Cardi's big brother. He's most known by Cardi fans for being shouted out in Playboy Cardi's song, Die For Guy. In the song, he talks about how when he was young, he wanted to be just like his brother who sold drugs and was a thug. I wanted to be just like my brother. The most memorable part of the song is when he shouts out his brother's name and says, that's my brother. And then shouts out his own name and says, I'm your brother. Reggie Carter, that's my brother. Jordan Carter, I'm your brother. He then says how he would die for his brother in the song. I'm when Cardi was younger, Reggie put him onto Gucci Mane and the rest of the music driving the streets of Atlanta at the time. In Cardi's early teenage years, basketball was his main focus. Cardi even credits basketball for keeping him out of trouble. He said it separated him from everybody else, going to practice and traveling for games all year round.
Hardy is also 6'1", which is slightly below the average height of an NBA point guard. Hardy quit the basketball team after a disagreement with his coach, and he began to spend more time in the studio. I'm gonna get a buck, no cap. Oh. In high school, Cardi would start skipping classes to record music at a friend's house. By doing so, he would eventually release two projects and a handful of music videos under the name Sir Cartier. Cardi missed so many days of school during his senior year that he didn't know if he was going to graduate or not, up until the day of his actual graduation. Cardi even said he didn't have family at his graduation because nobody knew if he was actually going to graduate. Playboy Cardi Speaks English is a video that shows Playboy Cardi speaking in an understandable voice as opposed to the voice he uses in certain songs. Y'all wanna know a fun fact? Um, um, my engineer is a female. Yeah, I'm in Walmart. Yo, Brick, send me some clothes. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Shout out to my nigga Brick Owens. See the reason why I'm about to get the Bumblebee chain from Ben Bali, you did. Brick Owens, that's my big brother, man. Boys never cry before their Frank Ocean shit. Shout out to Frank Ocean, that's my beloved. 24 Songs is a snippet that leaked prior to the release of Kanye West's album Donda. This verse was expected to be on the song Off the Grid, but the verse didn't make it onto the album. Playboy Cardi has been arrested multiple times for different crimes. His first arrest was in July of 2017, when he would be arrested for domestic abuse charges after arguing with his girlfriend outside of Los Angeles International Airport, where he ended up grabbing her by her backpack and pulling her out of the terminal. He ended up facing no domestic abuse charges from this, however. His next crime would come in February of 2018, where he would punch a driver in Scotland during his tour and was charged 800 pounds. Next, in January of 2019, Playboy Cardi would be fined £14,000 for repeatedly punching a bouncer at a London nightclub after being asked to stub out a cigarette. He reportedly hit the man six times. His most recent crime came in April 2020, where Cardi was arrested on drug and gun charges. He was released on bond the next day. In September of 2021, Eliante and Co. filed legal documents in New York claiming that Playboy Cardi owes over $97,000 for two custom chains that he ordered back in September 2020. Eliante says that Cardi was billed $197,000 for the pieces and paid $100,000 on January 25th, but never paid the rest of the bill, despite repeated demands. Eliante is suing to get what he is owed. On November 14th, 2019, over $366,000 worth of jewelry was stolen from Playboy Cardi and Iggy Azalea's Atlanta home. Iggy was home at the time the burglar took place. The burglar entered the house through the back door, which was intentionally left unlocked for Cardi to enter. The burglar was inside for eight minutes and left with a designer bag filled with jewelry, including seven diamond rings, an engagement ring, two rose gold diamond and pink diamond chains, watches, and one of Cardi's custom chains. Playboy Cardi has encountered many different Instagram accounts of people posting private pictures, private videos, and even unheard music from him. Some of the most popular Cardi leaker accounts end up getting deleted, such as 2 9 vet and 9 9 Opium underscore zero zero PM is Playboy Cardi's second Instagram page. This Instagram account has been deactivated and reactivated several times with no explanation as to why. 2900 refers to Atlanta's 2900 section slash block where Playboy Cardi is from. He has referenced 2900 in many different songs. When Playboy Cardi announced the release date of Whole Lotta Red, he also released a new merch collection for the album. This new merch collection was filled with inverted crosses, clothing referencing hell or the devil, and just an overall dark and hellish aesthetic. There's an old post of Cardi on Tumblr with the caption, Need a thick white hoe like Iggy Azalea. Many years later, he would be in a serious relationship with Iggy Azalea, meaning that his hope would come true. Playboy Cardi has a bunch of old tweets from before he was extremely popular that people find hilarious now. Playboy Cardi has deleted a lot of these funny old tweets, but a lot of them can be found on other platforms like Reddit. In February 2021, Cardi was pressed by a man who claimed Cardi put hands on his sister. 
What you gonna shoot me? Pull out the phone for a game. Nick, Cause you reaching, bitch. I'm saying, I'm you reaching. You game. Hey, you put your hands on my sister again, boy. Ain't nobody putting nothing on this. I'm gonna kill you. Gonna kill you gonna kill shit. I'm gonna kill you. Gonna kill shit. I'm gonna kill shit. While being pressed, Cardi had his hand on his gun, but ended up using his hands to hit the guy just like he was asking for. Hey, I'm built like that, nigga. Oh, Fuck man. a pistol. Fuck a pistol with your hands like. With your hands like. Now, what y'all wanna do? Put the phone Hey. There's actually lyrics in a whole lot of red that Cardi lived up to during this altercation, proving he doesn't cap in his rap. After this event occurred, Cardi would make this tweet. Playboy Cardi videos in the studio are rare, but even rarer are videos of him recording without hearing the beat. There is this one clip, however, of him singing in his signature baby voice with no beat. What was I? Okay. You kidding me, man? No, baby. That's your baby. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Everything you're doing, dummy. Make those sprays on your homie. He also has raw vocals from another song that ended up leaking. I'ma do this every day. I'm a nut in a fall. Shut it, better be afraid. Cause a nigga keep a care. Huh. She gotta be my hoe. Huh. I wanna meet your hoe. Yeah. I wanna take her out. Yeah. She gotta suck my dick. Yeah. She gotta eat me up. She gotta, uh, uh, yeah. The Instagram leaker account 29vet posted a video of people in the studio listening to Cardi sing, I want your dick in my mouth. No, run it back, run it back. Oh, I want your dick in my mouth. 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 Oh. Cardi's producer working on this song likely edited the song or moved words around to make Cardi say this. In March 2021, Playboy Cardi would make an Instagram post saying, let's drop this new album, we not done. Then Cardi's photographer, Gunnar Stahl, would reply saying Molly World and a greater than symbol. This led fans to believe that he would be dropping a new project titled Molly World, but this would not be the case. As to this day, Cardi hasn't dropped it. Playboy Cardi preaching is an old video of Cardi from 2015, talking about his come up amongst other inspirational things. And I was like, man, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. I just want to fuck bitches. I'm gonna be a child. Okay. Yo, no, I'm I ain't going to college. I was supposed to fuck the world shit for like years. Hey, bro. yo, you know I could have never got a job in Atlanta ever in my life, dude. Nigga, I was bagging groceries. Bro, I, I, tried to get a job at, I tried to get a job I went from bagging groceries fuck no, to bro. working at this place called H&M. But look, in Atlanta, that's when it first popped off. I was the hottest nigga at that Fire. shit because I was Fair. still in school, Fair. bro. Look, I'm still in school working at H&M. Okay, I'm man. like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, I don't want to work here no more. Niggas coming to the job, princess. Look, like this. Like, yo, you Cardi? Yeah, bro, that song you got fire as fuck. How long you been working here? That shit don't sound right, bro. I'm like, man, I'm about to quit. We came from there. We're supposed to be here, bro. Yo, the number one. Yo, the number one. Yo, the number one. Look who we came from. Look who we came from, bro. I'm blessed. You see this? Rocky gave me this, babe. You know what I'm saying? No man came to us again lunch. I'm blessed. I'm supposed to be here. My mom and dad, you know what I'm saying? They ain't go to college, but nigga, they ain't have me broke. You know what I'm saying? They want to broke. You know what I mean? I ain't these, nigga, I, I'm, I, I jumped out the port, nigga, my mom and dad's in the slums, nigga, I was like, man, I don't want to be on here, I was in the motherfucking zone six, like, I, I just be chilling, bro, I haven't released a song since, I don't bro. do shit, bro, all I do is visionary, Rocky called me, I go in the studio, I make, I make five songs with him, Rocky is a genius, he calls me, I love him, he's a dad to me, you know what I'm saying, he hate me saying that, I be like, what's up, pops? He hate that. He want me to be like, yo, um, yo, Rocky is. I love that nigga, bro. Only niggas can say to me, they can be like, oh, they can. Some niggas can say I changed on them because I thought they was on the same shit I was on, but they not. Or 
They was on some shit that I wanted to be on, and when I got on that shit, I got on it, then surpassed them, and they was just lost in the sauce. I'm like, damn, how the fuck you gonna, nigga, you ain't even, even, you boring. Nigga, you not even practicing what you preach, my nigga. What the fuck is you doing? Jordan Acting Stupid is a video that shows a 12-year-old Playboy Cardi goofing around, dancing, showing off his hairline, and freestyling. On October 11th, Playboy Cardi was slated to perform at the Great Hall in Brooklyn, New York. He ended up getting to the venue a couple hours late and only performed three songs before saying fuck the venue and tossing his mic and leaving. He also said a whole lot of red coming soon, but the album did not come out until over a year later. I want everybody in this bitch get the fuck out of here and go the fuck home. This shit is over with. I love you. Fuck this shit. There's an old video of ASAP Rocky roasting Playboy Cardi for an Instagram post made where a girl has her feet on Cardi's shoulders. Hold up, Cardi about to get it. Oh man, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you old stinky cheek ass nigga. You old put your motherfucking legs on my shoulders while I hit it from the front ass nigga. Put your favorite pumps on ass nigga. That bitch don't take them back to the future as it was jeans off your motherfucking shoulder nigga. And like it ain't 2017 you bum ass nigga. Yo Cardi you lucky you little bro. I'ma let you live cause I love you to death. But you gotta chill. That's all I'ma say. That's all I'ma say. You feel me? You figure down me. An old tweet of Cardi saying fuck ASAP in 2012 surfaced. Little did he know that just a few years later he would be collaborating with them and being mentored by their members. Prize played by Cardi's first song, which he recorded on GarageBand. He was 15 years old at the time and was going by the name Sir Cartier. Cardi even shot a music video for this song, which featured an appearance from his friend Uno the Activist.
There's a video from before Playboy Cardi blew up showing him getting into an altercation over him apparently stealing clothes. Then he got pressed by people trying to get the clothes back. You know that's what you want to do, boy? Man, you what's up, that? bro? You don't want to do that. Yeah, I just want to go, boy, just get the stuff, just get the stuff. and then they got to go to him, like, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. In April of 2021, an Instagram leaker account named 2900 posted a private picture of Playboy Cardi and Iggy Azalea out together. Cardi would comment on the post saying to post his dick next. He would also DM the leaker calling him a weirdo and asking him if he wanted to see his dick. Afterward, Cardi would block him, but the leaker somehow managed to find a nude picture of Cardi and they posted it on their story. Earlier this year, an Instagram leaker account posted a snippet of what is supposedly a sex tape with Playboy Cardi and Ruby Rose. In the snippet, the girl can be heard moaning Jordan, which is Playboy Cardi's first name. Not a part where he's like, uh, Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> Not a part where he's like, uh. That's gonna be all for this video. If you made it this far, huge shout out to you. And I hope that you found this video informative or entertaining. There will be more videos to come, so if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.